Limca Book of Record Holder for the Longest Open Sea Swimming uh, by Paraplegic Person. World Record Academy uh, Holder for the Longest Open Sea Swimming and uh, a Para Swimmer. चौदह साल के बाद from Mumbai सब आए मुझे देखने के लिए जैसे कि मैं किसी जू से आया हुआ हूँ और फिर वो पूछना शुरू हो गया ये क्या हुआ आया है भरी जवानी में इतना अच्छा लड़का लिखता है और उसके बाद अब तो पूरी जिंदगी इसकी खराब हो गई और ऐसे आई मीन कि ये क्या करेगा अब तो ये चल नहीं सकता है कुछ होगा नहीं इसका लोग ऐसे बोलने लगे मेरे मम्मी डैडी को तो वहाँ पे मेरी मम्मी थी आई I मीन mean, ये बात है आई थिंक समवेयर अराउंड 2018 की और ऐसे लोग मुझे ये सवाल कर रहे थे जो कभी हमारे गांव से निकल के पटना भी नहीं आए होंगे उनके लाइफ टाइम में या दिल्ली या बॉम्बे भी नहीं आए होंगे By 2018, I was like, I've already travelled almost more than 10 countries, four different continents, and all. I'm just thinking, what are they saying? That I can't walk. And at that time, my mom said, "Chums, don't be upset. Their mentality is the way they are. They, they can think. I mean, they don't go beyond. I mean, they don't go beyond. I mean, they don't go beyond." So I remember. I mean, she used to motivate me, and uh, I mean, to be very honestly, I know. Yes, this is very practical. I cannot deny that I cannot walk. Yes, this is something called physical disability, and, and I do have. I do have physical disability, and, and I accept it. I cannot walk. Yes, definitely, I cannot walk. But now I can fly. I received my uh, president award by the president of India in 2022. and here we have a lot of padma shri awardees and president awardees and this is something like very big achievement for any person any person getting an award in a lifetime by the president or any eminent personalities we all we all feel and we all think that we should go on the stage take the award on the stage from uh, from from them but that time it was not happening because of some uh, technical issues the lift got damaged or something and that's what actually made me feel that why it is very important i just missed those opportunities that i could have taken the picture with the president of india at that very stage in the vigyan bhavan and it could gives me a very lifelong uh, memory but then the president was so humble he came down and they gave us as a society as a young student i wanted to convey all of you my friends and the institution wherever whatever you are building please make it accessible because in life people from all walks of life can comes he or she can be your business provider service uh, service gainer and if you are not accessible to them do you really believe that you are doing some business or you are doing justice to your uh, your uh, work so my main important message to you guys are i mean see this university is beautiful wherever i go i mean i found this place is so accessible i can go independently in the hotel in the uh, restaurant and in around various places so definitely i can recommend people with disabilities to come to this kind of universities and they can studies i mean it shows that a institution is including all walks of life people people from all walks of life and once the institution will grow the education system will grow people with disability will learn and they will educate themselves they will get empower what i started doing i mean after becoming a paraplegic person i i got to know that the peop, there are millions of people are there in this world even in the india just for your information 
we are more than 1 billion, 1.4 billion uh, people countries. And a minimum Indian census record says, as per 2011, that 3% people are there with disabilities. So you can imagine how big community it is. And World Bank report says, it is more than 10%. So you can imagine. In Tokyo 2020 Paralympics, it is officially we celebrated a campaign called We the People, which celebrate 1.2 billion people with disabilities in the world. It's a big community. Any nation, any organization, if they wanted to become successful or a progress or a developed nation, they should include their people and even people with disability. The same way, I mean, like, I'm also a part of revenue generation. I'm also using this uh, premises. Electricity bill and everything is going on, and even I am the same kind of contributor. So people with disabilities are also helping in any, irrespective of any discipline, we are uh, developing, uh, we are giving revenue to the country. What I did now, what I started as a, a global sports mentoring program um, a delegate, in 2018 I become one Oh, the only one uh, uh, leader, emerging leader in the sports and sports diplomacy, which was chosen by United States uh, Department of Educational and Cultural Affairs. They invited me there. And they kept me very well. Like someone keeps their damad, like that. It was very important for me. And from there, I learned this. And what I am doing nowadays, I'm using sports as a tool to empower people with disabilities and without disabilities. Trying to organize some inclusive events. So this was one such event in which we called people from different, uh, uh, different states of India. And we gave them this kind of wheelchair and the opportunity. It was first kind of three-on-three -three wheelchair basketball national level tournament which we organized in Pune. And it was so successful that the people are, corporates are coming now, they are sponsoring and they are ready to take this on a different level. So basically those who think that this is now divyang, this is not able to do anything, we are growing and now we are coming up. People are winning medal and first time we introduce the cash prizes in this. So these kind of event are getting and people are growing. Also as a swimmer, what I try, I try to make swimming as a kind where, I mean, to be very honestly, I'm telling you paraplegia is not having any kind of medicines. I tried from India to various different uh, developed nations and countries, but honestly, if any of my friends with paraplegia, spinal cord injury is listening to me, please stop crying, accept the way you are, and move in your life. Because if you keep crying, you will never grow. This is something, there is no medicines, to be very honestly. Research are there, stem cell therapies are there, but it's still not working on a paraplegia. It is still under development. So just to wait, I mean, we all are in an internet era. It's very fast, very fast. We have to go ahead. We cannot stop and just keep crying. So if any of my friends with disabilities are listening to me, it's a direct answers to you. Please accept yourself the way you are and go ahead. Invest your money, your time in learning something which will help you to grow in your life. And what I am doing as a using as a, a sports as a tool to empower people and friends with disabilities. This was a camp in which 
I, uh, I help more than 40 people to learn swimming, in which two, three people were there. There was two lady from Telangana, she came and participated. And they are 50 plus. They literally wrote on the social media that, thank you, Shrams, for organizing this. We entered into the swimming pool after 17 long years. So can you imagine? Like events which gives them so much of joy and happiness that they leave their life, they think that after disability their life is over. They can't do anything. But sports is something which actually help us to understand and give them, give them the self-confidence that your life is not over after the disability. You can still live your life and you can still empower your friends. We are doing business so many things. What I tried, this picture you can see, this picture was clicked uh, by me in 2019. This is a picture of Patliputra Sports Complex, which is one of the biggest sports complex in Bihar, Patna. I remember when I got my first uh, Bihar State uh, Khel Samman in 2017. I went there and it was again not accessible. And something which is, which is very, very big thing for uh, people uh, in Bihar, I mean, their system, they are still lacking. They, they, they are not comparing themselves with the developed states. So you can imagine, I mean, I mean, what is the kind of accessibility will be there. What I did with few of my friends, we, we were outside of the uh, hostel and I said, we wrote a letter to the director that we want accessibility. We will not go inside until and unless you will make or you will give us assurance that you will make ramp and uh, elevators or something which will be accessible in coming few years. They accepted our latest, and I'm so happy. When to, in 2019 I went there, this is the thing. They passed actually 17.5 lakh rupees to make their ramp and lift. They installed this. And now people with uh, disabilities, anyone, or people without disabilities also, can easily go on any floors of that particular building. So this is, I'm talking about one space. You can, you can see this, like uh, this is the uh, player hostel where this newly built ramp is there. This was the uh, uh, situation, there was all stress. And now they have made it. So this is something, it's an effort. I remember when I was uh, in 2015, I was doing my MBA. I did from Satyabama University. I went there. The very first day, I remember few of my friends actually hold my wheelchair and they took me in the class. Again, I did the same thing. I went to the director and I said, see, it's a two years course. Can you believe every single day nobody can lift me? And it is also not good for me. I have some dignity. I wanted to live my life independently. And the director was so humble. They actually accepted it and they made the entire campus accessible. I'm not giving them, I mean like, before that, that campus, that university was not NAC aggregated. I mean, after that, they got NAC uh, accreditation also. I mean, I'm not telling it's just because of the RAM, but actually, RAM gives them the, uh, I mean, uh, when they do the accreditation, they do consider all those things. So, I mean, if these kind of things are available in any public places, any buildings, people may come and it is good. So, from here, I just wanted to say, my friends, that these kind of things are very important. And as I mentioned, I mean, earlier I told about this picture. This is the award which I received by the President of India. And it could be very good, I mean, if it is on the stage. But thus, my friends, this is what I am trying to tell you. As a young architecture, civil engineering designer, all the students this KIT university is uh, producing, 
think in your life. I remember when I was in USA, I went to University of Tennessee. I'm talking about accessibility. Their students come there and they ask me, so we are doing a project on people, uh, disabled friendly clothes. How can we make and launch disabled friendly clothes? And I am remembering still, in 2018 I went there, 2021 I got an email from them, that girl, she approached me, so we are very happy to announce that we, I have launched my accessible design showroom, for, especially for a person with disabilities. So people are thinking about this. See, fashion can be very uh, inclusive. Fashion can be inclusive. Today, I'm, I mean like most of the time, I, I, I wear the clothes which is very comfortable to me. I'm just giving you one example. This could be a very big business idea, my friends. Why people with disabilities are not in the entertainment industries? Why they are not very frequently appearing on the fashion shows? So the idea I just wanted to share with all of you is make this society accessible, make everything accessible. Because we all are a part of this society. We all contribute in the development of the nation and this society. Think if students are coming from, exchange students are coming from different countries, and if they found that the place is not accessible, what kind of India we are making? But if they come and if they see the environment like KIIT, which is inclusive and accessible, they will feel they are at home. And that's the kind of place we wanted to make. Let's place today to make this world accessible and better place for everyone. I'm so thankful to KIIT, TEDxKIIT for giving me this opportunity. Thank you so much, friends, for listening to me. Thanks a lot. <laughs>